All right, I want to welcome everybody again, doing a series of videos around uh, this very tough issue, adultery, and um, have dealt with quite a bit. This is the third of four videos, and the first two we dealt with um, exposure just as a starting point, which is uh, hard, you know, just as a, it, watch the video, and it, it's going to be challenging. It's definitely going to be challenging. And then we talked about forgiveness and what that really looks like, um, not just the, the, the Christian answer, but how the process and what it looks like. And, and now, um, I know that there's, there's many people that are, especially those that are dealing with this issue and maybe right in the middle of it, and they, get the, they, they see the validity and forgiveness and exposure, but the truth is, is they just need hope. Mm -hmm. And it's like, how, um, in your personal experience, how did you make it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say, um, let me throw out just some, the quick answers, and then we'll kind of unpack some of it. I think um, the, some of the key ingredients for us were, was, um, faith in God, uh, and I know that I know that sounds a little cliche, um, but but without a a desperate, thriving relationship with God, I don't think we would have made it. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I'm just being honest, I don't think we would have made it. Um, two, uh, pain tolerance. I think just the ability to That's not have to answer every single question today. Mm -hmm. um, when we when we mentor couples through this process, um, you know, one of the things that we do is we filter what do we need to decide on today, mm -hmm. because we don't have to have all the answers. We don't have to see how this whole thing is going to play out. But what what today is on our plate that we need to deal with and ask God to give us guidance for? Um, and so I, I think that that um, just the ability to to walk push through the pain of the emotions. Um, it was critical and to look to God in every in every aspect of the journey. Yeah, and I think you know we touched on it in the second video a little bit about brokenness and um, there in all the years that we've been going through this and talking to people we've talked to a lot of couples mm -hmm. where um, the one who was unfaithful didn't have a broken spirit. Um, they were kind of mad that they got busted. Yeah or they wanted to know um, why their spouse wouldn't just get over it. Right. Uh, you know, I, I would talk to people, and, you know, two months down the road, the husband, if he was the one who was unfaithful, would want to know, why can't you just quit talking about it? And it's, yeah. um, it's a lifetime journey. Uh, we, like I said, we, we've been walking this for seven and a half years, and I can tell you not once has he gotten defensive. Now, I haven't thrown it back in his face like, I can't believe you did this, I, I, I'm not doing that. But when I talk to him and say, I'm struggling with trusting you today, this choice that you made, mm. I'm really struggling. It took me back 10 years ago. And so, and you know what he says? He says, I'm sorry, what can I do to make it better? I mean, he's pretty amazing. If you, didn't, if you don't know him, I mean, he's pretty amazing. Not once has he gotten defensive and so, I see him walking in this broken state. And in 2 Corinthians 7, hmm. verse 10, it talks about godly sorrow and worldly sorrow. He had godly sorrow and has it today. And what that looks like is you truly are heartbroken because you, you hurt the heart of God. You went against his commands. Worldly sorrow is, you know, man, I, I wish I, my, whole, my whole world's messed up. I'm gonna lose my job or I'm gonna lose my house or something's gonna happen, something's gonna go wrong. And so it's really more about you. And, but godly sorrow brings repentance and that's truly what I saw. So I would just encourage all of you walking through this, especially those who've, who've been the one who've had to confess that you were unfaithful. Man, you've got to be willing to accept the consequences. Mm -hmm because it's not fair to your spouse for you to go and say, gosh, can you quit talking about this? We've been talking about this for six weeks. Well, I've got news for you, and this is not good news. The news is you're gonna talk about it for six years. Now, you're not gonna talk about it as much in six years yeah. if you do it right early on, you yeah. know? I would say the other thing, um, uh, and that's something I believe that you can, you can pray for and say, God, help me see this through your eyes. Yeah. And, and I believe if you sincerely ask God to let me, let, me, let me navigate this through the filter within which you see it, I believe that God will change your heart from, man, this stinks that I got busted and what am I going to lose to, holy cow, 
um, you know, I broke I broke a vow, a covenant mm. that I made with my wife or my spouse and with God. Um, and uh, it's not it's not that d- depression is the pathway mm. to healing, but the good news that we're going to talk about in the next video is only as good as you own um, mm-hmm. the reality of what you've done. Mm-hmm. I mean, again, we're not going to sugarcoat it. it. It's not good. Mm-mm. It's hard. It's painful. And we have to, through the eyes of God, let our, let our hearts be broken over that. And it's, it's in that that God um, begins to plant seeds of, of things you can't even imagine, of what he's going to do through very, very bad things, very, very painful um, choices that we've made. And, and we're going to talk about that in our next video. But I just want to say one last thing. Mm-hmm. Um, you can't do it alone. Mm. You cannot navigate this alone. Mm. And I would pray and I would call your a local church. I would, I would, I would look for a com- an online community. Um, I would just, I would look for an opportunity um, to, to have somebody walk this path with you. We did, um, I'm, I'm telling you, we would not have made it without this couple being in our lives who have walked this road, speaking wisdom, speaking truth, um, kind of helping navigate us. You cannot do this alone, and I don't believe God wants you to. And so find, find a, another couple, a local church, uh, or an online community of faith that you can um, be a part of and, and have those people walk with you. That's awesome. I, I was going to add some stuff, but there's really nothing to add. I, again, you guys are uh, just to be able to, um, this is a piece, you know, and this is just a piece, but I really believe that these videos are going to start some, some major healing and some major steps that maybe they didn't have before, yeah. um, that uh, maybe they hadn't heard that. And just uh, the one thing I always talk through is that embrace the friction and mm. sometimes the frictions can get really heavy in life but it's pain. those things that can turn into something that we're going to talk about in the next one yeah. that can be more beautiful than you could ever imagine yeah. Yeah. Um, so would you get my yeah. to close us again in prayer let's, for let's pray that. father god i just um there are a lot of people that feel very very alone and that nobody understands what they're going through and the reality is is that um there are many people that understand what they're going through. And uh, many people walking this journey of you restoring what we have broken. And um, Father, I pray supernaturally, God, that you would provide community. I pray, I don't know even what this could look like, but um, we want to be sensitive mm-hmm. to how you move uh, through this. And, and, and God, in local towns and communities all over the world, God, online, um, God, give us the inspiration to connect together, mm-hmm. uh, to walk each other, to carry each other's burdens, to be wisdom bearers mm-hmm. uh, and hope bringers to each other. And um, God, as, as many couples are navigating through this ongoing season of pain, um, I just pray that you would give them those glimpses of hope, that there is hope, and that... that um, that this pain and this struggle um, can actually be used for something unbelievable. Yeah. And I just pray they would have glimpses of that, that cool breeze on their face, that it's not all about pain, it's not all about suffering, that, that, that you can use the, that pain and suffering mm-hmm. um, for greater things. And I thank you, God, in advance, that maybe even now you're doing that. Mm-hmm. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.